All right, we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Passion to Profession podcast. Hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Dan, and I'm here with the wonderful Patrick, Patrick Palstian. How are you doing, Patrick? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. You <laughs> having a good day. You too? Nice. I am having a good day, thank you. It's actually, as it is for you, because you're in Germany as well, it's Friday evening, and yeah. uh, looking forward to a nice weekend. Um, you guys watching right now or listening... Patrick is the founder of an app called Einfach Fit, which oh, I this was perfect. This was perfect. Thank you. I did it slowly and calmly, um, which in English means like simply fit or easy fit. And uh, he recently went through the Expert Unleashed Challenge with us and got seven clients, made over 2,200 euros, which is awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, and we're going to talk about everything in terms of his experience until now and, and where this is going so if you're watching live then get involved in the conversation give us a hashtag live on the uh on the stream right now and you can ask your questions to myself or patrick and we will answer i see a bunch of you guys uh logging in already which is nice hello hello and uh otherwise i will ask patrick lots of questions and learn about what he uh what he's experienced and, and what we can all learn from him so patrick thank you for joining and um, could you kick us off? By, can you tell me a little bit about uh, about yourself? Like, where are you from, and and why did why did you want to launch an app? Yeah, uh, so I'm Patrick. I'm 31 years old, and I'm from the north of Germany, maybe about 50 kilometers from the Danish border. So um, in the middle of nowhere sometimes. But um, yeah, I'm a professional personal trainer, doing it for now more than six years. And um, I've always looked a bit next to the road, maybe, because um, I worked a lot. Well, I work a lot. Um, I started with a big problem that I go with a low price into the market. And it's, it's quite hard when you got your, you have, I have to make my living on this from the first day. So it was like having enough money and it's fine, but it was never like the next jump. And so I'm looking for, for different steps, um, headed over to some supplement stuff and then uh, already launched a, a group before, but the concept was not like for me. So as you, as you know, I'm from Germany and I, I used an app called Trainerize. Um, I think it's quite common for fitness trainers. So, um, but the first experience my clients made was like, it's in English. And they were like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. So my clients are women between 50, 35 and 55, maybe at 60. So sometimes not that um, used to, to technical stuff and to the English language. So um, yeah, I was thinking about oh, how can I manage it? I like to work remote to just coach them. I like the part of coaching. I sometimes I'm bored of giving training. And so it was a great way to do it. And I decided to, yeah, do it on my own. And then I saw your, your ad. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, congratulations. That's really interesting that like the language was an important part of, um, of the decision for you uh, to make sure that your app was in your own language, right? Yeah, this is um, one of the main parts. And I figured out that my clients so I, I don't know if you if you know how it works, but it's like like a training plan in the gym. So yeah. you can choose an, an exercise, say do it 12 times, three times in a row, then the next one, the next one. And they quite struggled with this as well. As I don't know, maybe maybe girls are more like to go to a class and follow through what a what, a, what an instructor is doing. So they launched the feature of doing a follow along as well, but it was not like the way I wanted to use it. And so now I, I've got a yeah, simple thing and I think it's easy to build these follow alongs inside um, this app we are launching now, so. That's great. Are you using, uh, in the Passion platform, are you using a lesson structure or are you using a sequence structure? Um, both so i i will start on monday and i said to myself i start like this i will do 
four training sessions in the first week. I will do a sequence. I will do a training session I filmed in a hole. Then I, um, yeah, I asked a friend of mine to do a follow along. And the third, one, uh, fourth one is like, I, from a circuit training, I only filmed the first round and tell them do it twice or three times uh, on what level you are right now. So, and after each of these, I will have a feedback form to just figure out which way they love the most. That's awesome. And uh, will you, what will you use for the feedback form? What, what tool? Um, I'm just really Yeah. Type and then like, will you embed that in the app as well? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Well done, man. That's really cool. Great to hear. Um, Thank you. You, got, you guys listening, I see a bunch of you live already and Thomas and Kirsten uh, and Liam uh, commenting as well. Drop your comments in the chat, drop your questions here and uh, myself or Patrick will answer them. Um, and it's really cool that you're using the platform how it's intended to be used. You're, uh, and, and more than that, you're also asking your clients for feedback. So then you try like different things, you see what they like, and then you, you build from there. That's, that's an, a, an excellent approach. And I'm very confident that you'll get, you will very quickly create an app that, that they love doing that. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, well done. What is your plan from here? What, what, what would you, where would you like to take this in the future? Um, I think uh, I already planned to, to have a membership site as well. So um, I sold my program for 350 euros um, for six, six months and a 30 day testing period for my membership site. So um, after the, the challenge, I have to build up a, a library. So <laughs> I, a lot of work to do, but um, I think I want to bring my in personal training clients into the app as well, into the library, maybe for free or to even raise the price of my, my service I'm providing. So as these still stay on trainer right now, so, but I want to change them over to this and just work like in a, at first I think I have to work with two tools. So it's a Google sheet and a passion app and tell them this week, choose three, um, three training sessions, one from circuit training, one Tabata and one maybe app special. So um, I will tell them what they have to do on a separate thing, I, I think, or I did not figure out how I can do it in passion. So <laughs> when you tell me, I, maybe I can do it in a, a version inside of my app. <laughs> that's very interesting. Is that for the membership? That's like, with the library that's how you want to do it or or that's yeah, for your that's for your in-person clients um i think in the end it will be end up both in this mm, mm. so um yeah oh. i did i did not figure out this to, no. to the end now but um i think i i would like them all to start with the six week restart challenge and then bring them into this uh, membership site so they can have uh, the full experience of this yeah. um in the end, I don't know. This is one, maybe one of the big questions I, I have as on expert freedom, you're very focused on uh, recurring income. Yeah. So um, sometimes I'm a bit about, yeah, why didn't we, why didn't I start to just do the recurring thing? <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's a, that's a very good question. Um, and, and for those watching right now, if you know, if you haven't been through the process in expert unleashed, the main focus is on getting people like to pay like an upfront payment. And then in expert freedom, it's more about recurring. We do also recommend in expert unleashed to include like, uh, as you have Patrick, like a, a free trial to like a membership site in the future. The reason why we want to focus more on like a one-time thing in the beginning is because uh, often when you're first starting, you don't know what's going to work and you don't know what, you know, what type of clients are going to be right and what type of product is going to be right. And, and like, first of all, sometimes people find it very scary to commit to like, not, not the, not the students, but the trainers, right. The, the experts, it's like, I'm a bit scared to commit to like, I'm going to give you this forever because it's like, you know, so it's a good way to test the water, like six weeks, see how it goes. Okay. And, the and the second reason is 
um, uh, is you don't know, as I said earlier, if the customers that you get are going to be the right ones, if the product you give them will be the right one. And so as this evolves, it's like good to start with like a finite thing. And then in the future, focus just on focus more on recurring. Um, we've tried it both ways and this is the way we found the best. Ah, okay. See. Yeah. Um, cool. There's tons of people watching in the chat, which is awesome. Um, and we have some questions coming in as well. Rashida said, I am lost and need help, which is awesome. Rashida, can you let us know what is going on for you? What are you scared about? What are you, um, where, where are you lost? Let's say. And, um, I'm sure that between Patrick and myself, we can help you out. Uh, Leah said, I do something similar. I use lessons to teach and then I record follow along classes and I use se sequences that can be repeated. Um, and then I also uh, teach outside of the app using Zoom. Um, so there's a ton, uh, a ton of things that Leah's doing that's very similar, which is great. It's perfect. Nice. Yeah. Nice. You just have to keep an eye on the size of our uh, videos. Yeah. So <laughs> True. as, it, like, as when you uh, when you film a sequence like 45 minutes, it's sometimes struggling. So I, I just maybe people who are um, thinking about the same things. The iPhone is a great thing, but it's a quite big uh, data. So I do it with my MacBook on Zoom and it's way smaller, way smaller. That's a, that's a very good observation. I film a lot with Zoom as well. Um, you just open up a Zoom with yourself, right? And you hit record and, and that's awesome. Um, another thing is we have, we have a, a help center article on how to reduce file size. So if you do end up with a big one, I think we've increased the limit recently to a gigabyte, which is quite big. But yeah. it can be bigger um, and you can like compress it using online tools. It is, uh, uh, it is possible to do that as well. Um, cool. Sonia says, hello, Patrick, schön dich zu sehen, which I'm not pronouncing ah. very, very well. Hello, um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Marion said, uh, hello. And Kirsten said that she loves the idea of the restart challenge. That's really cool. Nice. Um, yeah, drop your questions in the chat, guys, and, and we'll get to them. So, Patrick, can you tell me um, and the people listening and watching, what was your biggest like challenge, your biggest difficulty that you hit when you went through the Expert Unleashed Challenge? What was like the scariest or the hardest thing that you had to do? Um, the hardest thing for me was to restart my mind as I spent a lot of money for coaches the last year. So it was about... 20,000 euros, I think. And it all went, did not went out like I expected. So um, for me, the hardest part was to just follow through. But this day by day challenge, it was not like um, being in a mastermind, say, uh, tell yourself what you're going to do the next week or two, and then just keep doing it. It was just like a step-by-step -step guidance. And this is, um, for me, it made it easier to just trust the process because I just need to open my app and just follow what, what's going on this day. Only this day. It was not like living in the future. So for me, the hardest part was to, to find some kind of um, trust, I think. Yeah. That's, that's very interesting. Uh, and thanks for saying that. What, what did you find, I guess, if you didn't continue with those other coaches, it didn't, I guess it didn't work, right? It didn't work for you. What was the, what was like, what was a, what was not working before? Do you think? Um, I thought the last coach I hired, uh, it will work because I made with the first launch of a group and trainerized and stuff like this as well, about three, three and a half thousand euros but there was no, no other way than organic reach. So it was, everything was um, built up on organic reach and it was everything to yeah, just block you one hour in the morning and one hour in the evening to just reach out to people manually. And 
yeah, I, I did not tell, but I, it, it's crazy because I made this uh, a list today from, for myself, not for this interview, but for myself. And I realized I'm about to have 37 hours of in-personal training and coaching a week from Monday to Friday. So adding two hours a day, it's another 10 hours for manual work. It's, it's not possible. And I haven't done any um, invoice writing, um, looking for my accountant and stuff like this, or even answering people's questions was mm -hmm. not in these uh, nearly 40 hours. So it was only no, no pre-planning, no post-planning, nothing. So mm -hmm. I need something um, that works while I'm working or while I'm not working. <laughs> so um, mm -hmm. uh, my main point for this, um, this group was super targeted ads. Mm -hmm. I want to learn how to do this. I already hired two, two people doing my copy and uh, doing some Facebook ads for me in for one-on-one -on -one clients. But um, I think I will just cut them out and go for, for, for the way you do this in here because it's the way I, I need to figure out it on my own as they are quite expensive as, as always. So good service, good price. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy, mm. crazy. So the organic reach is, is okay. So at this time, seven clients, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. That's great. You know, I think you raised an important point, a, a couple of actually important points there. Um, first of all, is like, uh, there's always, if you, if, if you follow a decent process, there's always quick wins with organic reach, because we all have created some sphere of influence, some trust in some people. Um, and we, the way we see it is like, it, like you start there because you, most people have got it right. Like we can usually get a handful of clients through that. Um, and, and it gets some money, which is great. But the goal in the end is like, you need to be able to turn complete strangers into clients, right? Because unless you're a big influencer with millions of followers, quite quickly, that organic thing um, will, will disappear. Um, and yes, okay, it's possible to turn strangers into clients through like sending a lot of messages every day. Um, but actually there are these platforms out there like Facebook ads, as you said, that work really well. So I think that's a very, a very important point that you raised. And the second one, I hear what you said about like you hired some people to do Facebook ads for you. I hear that a lot. And, um, and, and I also understand why, because it's like, it's quite, it, it's quite scary, right? Facebook ads, it's like this big platform. It's like um, complicated and, I, and, and uh, it feels like something that like, okay, I just have to get someone who knows how to do this. Um, but the reason why I think that, that that usually is a mistake is that Facebook um, ads, like I talk a lot about this magical line where like if you get, you know, you put a dollar in and you get a, more than a dollar back out, you're above the magical line, you're super happy. If you get less back out, then uh, your bank account drains very quickly, right? Now, if, if we get other people to run our ads for us and we're below the magical line, it's really hard to know, am I below because like I'm not doing a good job or the people aren't doing a good job or am I below because I haven't got the right ad or I haven't got the right product market fit or I haven't got the right funnel or so what I always recommend is like learn it yourself, ideally implement it yourself. And then once it's working and once you really understand it, then you can get someone else to do it because then you know really like how to manage that person effectively. Does that make sense? It does make sense. It totally makes sense. It's just um, the case that I don't have time or I yeah. think I don't have time for doing yeah. this. I, um, I'm thinking about doing it with a landing page. I'm, I don't have the technical stuff. So this is another thing for your app that because drag and drop, I'm able to do this and I'm able to just take my mouse and just <laughs> bring it to the right order. So <laughs> for oh. me, this is an easy step-by-step -step process, but um, writing a copy, a good copy, stuff like this and ad, and it was, a bit too much for me but in the end as you say uh, it's when you're above the line 
you, we have to talk about are the leads good quality or am I a bad salesperson? Yeah. Then the next step is like we do, we did not make money, so we lost money with the campaign, and I lost money with paying these guys. So yeah. it's double the the input of money, and it's quite hard. As I signed a contract, oh, it's only one month left, but um, yeah, sometimes uh, decisions are are not the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what I love, Patrick, is that you're is that you're you're trying to find a way through and many people would just give up and just say, I've tried, it didn't work. Um, and, and, you know, that's great. And, and you're much more likely to get there if you continue going. Like if, if you stop, if you give up, then of course you fail. Um, so I think that's great. And, and I really, I'm looking forward to you going through Expert Freedom because um, we really, it's very step-by-step -step in the same way that Expert Unleashed is. And it will show you, like you will learn how to run the ads yourself and and how to really understand what's working and what's not, um, which is great. And we've got um, my, uh, so there's someone in our team called Andrew, um, who is just like an awesome sales guy. And he's actually working on improving because you said like, um, am I a bad salesperson? Like you, the question is like, can you close the leads or is it bad leads? And we're getting Andrew working on even more training uh, for you all on like how to, uh how to really like level up on on sales so yeah that's re really exciting that you're going through that what is your long-term goal you said you've got 37 hours a week of like of of work going on in like a year from now what would be like an awesome outcome for you um replace my personal training income um with a uh, recurring income and getting the option of uh, just accepting clients I want to work with. It's, I, I want to come to the point where I don't do it for money. So it, I don't, in the end, I, I don't want to care. I, I want that I pay a good amount of money. It's mm. not like I want to, to spend it everywhere, but I, I don't, I want to be in the position that I don't need to, to go for like 150 euros a month or a, a, a training session. So it, if it's okay to get 60, 70, 80 euros, having a good time with good clients and um, yeah, just mm, being able to, to be a bit more, um, yeah, spontaneous, I think. Um, Love that. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is a good, uh, good the good first step as uh, I, my dad is building a, a uh, a personal training studio for me he's an architect so he's building it and he's getting in the second floor and me and my girlfriend in the third floor mm -hmm. um so i i do need to to go on working but it's like it's expanded and it, it, it evolves itself and I, there will be uh, some some people working with me the team will get bigger and so i think um yeah a good cool. good way to do it but so it's it's like what in a year from now yeah i think it's five to seven thousand euros a month recurring mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. this would be a great great way that's great patrick that's super exciting and and i'm sure if you follow the process that we outline with focusing intensity you will get there based on speaking to you you're clearly driven and smart and you've followed it so far which is really cool so well done um, we've got a question here from Cheryl who says, um, pancake number two, what is best? Do you simply charge a subscription to everyone? For example, $80 a month. Um, and this includes the program, um, from the first pancake that you used to charge 495 for, you know, Cheryl, that's a very good question. And actually Patrick, this is probably relevant to you as well as you're like embarking on your second pancake. Um, it's a little bit difficult because after the expert on these challenge, this is when it starts to get like where people start to uh, like the advice becomes different for different people. Okay. Um, we have people, uh, for example, David, um, who uh, he's from Australia, David and Caroline, a couple, they ran a gym and then it was closed down with coronavirus and he's running um, together. They're running uh, a membership that's 200 us, uh, sorry, Australian dollars per month. And they don't they don't sell any one time fee. And the reason is their clients are quite elite 
athletes or, or not athletes but quite elite like uh trainers already or they're al already training a lot and they know that they're going to be with them for a long time because it's like high level stuff right if it's a more beginner market where you get like you'll know this patrick from um from fitness like quite a lot of people take something up and then they give up they take something up and then they give up if that's the case if you only charge them 80 dollars and then they're gone after one month it's it's very frustrating right and and so essentially what we recommend is like what you want is recurring income so if you have like a client base who are going to stick around long term then focus on bringing in clients who pay you 100 200 per month or 80 or whatever it is per month every month and they, they stick around for a long time if you have a client base who are like leaving and, and they're just trying stuff and giving up much better to charge high up front because then you've, you've got the commitment, right? Um, so does that answer your question, Cheryl, let me know in the chat and Patrick, does it make sense to you? It does. Uh, maybe, maybe my, my, a cup of tea from me. So it's like, why don't you do it like a subscription fixed for three months? So, or five months or something like, like this. So you have a fixed income. They need to, especially in fitness, it's, as you said, many drop off without any good feeling. And we just destroy so many people by just um, overwhelm, I think. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think in this part, it's just like, hey, do a commitment for four, five, six months. And I will show you how to do it in the right way, right order, just to start with a basic program, two, three times training a week, telling them something, uh, something about nutrition, then evolve it like, so after two months, it's maybe the gallery you get as well. And so they can go for a bit more mm. spe specific or something like this, maybe yeah. um, a contract is in this way, another mm. option yeah so to clarify do you mean like where they where they commit for six months and they pay monthly that sort of thing yeah yeah so in personal training i just did it this way as in the beginning i had people telling me after four weeks training once a week oh this training is bad and i'm like i can't show you anything you you started zero and yeah. we just made the first steps yeah so now if you want to work with me you have to commit for three months so yeah. I have a chance to show you what is training. Mm. So I love that. And I think if I were in your shoes, Patrick, you live in Germany. If anyone doesn't know, Patrick lives in Germany. I would do that. Okay. And, yeah. and, and the reason why I say that you live in Germany, I, I live in Germany as well. And that's a very common thing. If you sign up for a phone contract, if you sign up for a gym contract, it's all like there's a commitment, right? 12 months, 24 months in yeah. the U S this is much less common. Um, so so I, uh, I'm not sure, Cheryl, where you're based. Um, uh, let, let me know. Like, you've put both dollars and pounds. If you're in the UK, the commitment could also work. If you're in the States, I would go for a, like a, a higher upfront fee, the, the equivalent of three months or six months, and just charge that up front. Um, and Patrick, I think it's a great idea. I really love, I really love it. It's like in Germany, we love bank transfer. And in the UK and all the other states, they love credit cards. Yes, that's right. That the is German exactly hates right. credit cards, I think. That's right. Even the, the tellers and stuff like this, they don't like credit cards. That's right. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy. Um, Cheryl's in the UK. So yeah, that could also work uh, for you, Cheryl, like with a, with a, a specific commitment. The, the final thing I would say is, um, once you guys get after the Expert Unleashed, I try to make Expert Unleashed incredibly um, linear, which, by, by which I mean I don't give you any options, basically. I don't say do this or that because much more important than being perfect is taking action, right? When you get to Expert Freedom and you're a little bit more advanced, then we start to like open up the options and talk about like, okay, in this situation, in that situation. And, and what I would say is like every market is different. Like depending on where you are geographically, depending on where, like who, what age group, um, 
what demographics there's like so many factors that that determine um what pricing actually makes sense i encourage you to test different things right so patrick when you're speaking to you know the next three um potential clients and you say it's a six month commitment you'll you will feel whether that is good or whether that's like a big no-no right and then you can just evolve um and so cheryl as well i would i would encourage the same thing for you if it works really well with expert on these challenge with that pricing why not use that plus a recurring as well um and just test and just evolve and see what people are excited by and see what is a big no-no for people um most of the time people tend to underprice most of the time people think um patrick said at the beginning he made the mistake of going into the market very cheap and that is the most common mistake people make uh, so whatever you're thinking is the right price usually you can add 50 percent on top and people will still pay um hey that's a good question from thomas he said would you need a contract or something similar um and uh and would would it be possible to have like a template what, have you done this before patrick and how did you do it with a contract i don't have contracts i just send invoices okay and so when you say like you commit for three months it's like a verbal commitment only uh, it's like what is it just a verbal commitment or do they sign something yeah i i like it to give give someone a handshake <laughs> ah, okay okay got it um yeah so uh, thomas i don't have a uh a template and we we also avoid giving any like legal advice legal templates I'm, i'm sure there are a lot of templates online for this sort of thing if you do want to use a contract um uh yeah and and also i do find a verbal or like the equivalent of a handshake over the phone a verbal commitment is is a big thing you know like we've had we've had it with programs before where we say like this is how long it is you pay every month but we expect you to stay in it for this amount of time in order to get the result and people uh tend to stay right because they they've committed that, that they know that they've made that commitment and then um it tends to it tends to work so i don't get too caught up in contracts um and also if, if it's really not right for someone then i don't want them to you know to hate me and pay for something they don't enjoy it, it's the same for me as i um had clients in my training so only the offline training and if they i always said to them if you are not happy with my service let's just stop here i will charge the last invoice and it's fine we are done so you, you can leave whenever you want and it's it's like when you got something like this it's a, like a legitimation for a higher price because they are quite um it gives confidence It, it gives confidence and they they can when they are unhappy they can change it yeah okay control yeah they have they have the control yeah. and i'm i'm confident in my service that i i will provide value and mm. uh, they will stay if they like me and i want to work with people who like me so love uh, that i like you know what i mean yeah 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 of course yeah fantastic um and cheryl said this has got me thinking about a lot of things thank you so much nice Hey, this has been really fun. My my final question, Patrick, is if um if someone was thinking about starting this process, what is like the number one piece of advice you would give that person? If you want, if you're in or starting the expert expert unleash, I, yeah. I think the main point is just do it as you tell us. Just follow the process. It's it's not like thinking about or oh, is day 12 the right i made some mistakes like i was thinking about my first week on day 15 <laughs> and it was like oh it's covered day 22 or something like this it will show up the right time the right place this is uh, something i i really learned the hard way because i just had to put my paper and throw it away <laughs> because it was shit <laughs> so um in the end just follow step by step and um you will you will reach it the, the goal you're aiming and use the community just just even if it's stupid and you think like no i don't want to post every day into the facebook group just do it don't think about it it's 
crazy how encouraging it is as Sonia who wrote in German here it's yeah. a connection we, we just chat sometimes so it's a quite good good thing yeah that's awesome that's <clears throat> that's so great I don't know if Patrick probably saw I don't know if you guys did I was having a coughing fit during the answer so I apologize for that I got some, got some water in the in the air pipe um but I heard it all I muted myself I coughed and I listened to your wonderful answer thank you for saying that it's really really kind um I agree trust the process everything will be covered um uh, you know later if it hasn't been covered yet it will be covered later and um and the community I just love it was the the most unexpected thing that happened with this whole thing we just created a Facebook group um, at the beginning of this of our journey at Passion, and 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 all of a sudden, you know, there's thousands of wonderful people in there, and there's real connections, as you said, um, and it's really helping people to get better results. And so, um, I'm very grateful for that because I don't feel that I've really done anything there. Uh, it's just like wonderful people coming together and, and helping each other. Um, so yeah, well done. Thanks, Patrick. Is there anything else uh, you'd like to add? Oh, just thank you for, yeah. so as I'm only th three or four weeks into this program and you just figured out that, that I'm doing okay and you just saw that I'm doing this stuff, Andrew told me two weeks ago, so we made this, this after two weeks of being into this group, so uh, I'm happy you saw um, what I'm doing and I'm doing okay, I think, and uh, there were, there's more to come, I think, so just thank you for this and looking forward to the next steps. That's awesome. You are doing very well. And uh, I'm very excited to see how you get on in the next in, in the next few weeks with Expert Freedom and beyond. Thank you, Patrick. It's been awesome. And thank you, everybody, for listening or watching. And see you guys very soon.